Last night? My life. Are you scared? I, I get scared. Of what? My parents, um, my sister, you. Why? I feel like something's gonna happen. And if I scratch the surface, there'll be something terrible underneath. It's perfectly normal to experience a certain irrational fear in your face. But it's no more than a stage. And it will pass, I assure you. Matter of good breeding, Milo. Yeah, you're Mr. Perfect. You'll probably end up assassinating the president. You have one warped sense of humor, you know that? <laughs> Blanchard. Jenny! What? Blanchard's here. Damn it, Bill, you know I can't see him. Will you get rid of him for me, please? What are brothers for, huh?
I can explain this. Oh, Jenny, come on. Oh, listen to me. Get back. What the hell do you think you're doing, huh? Well, now I know how this you probably crazy? looks. Get out. Something very weird is going on here. Oh, no shit. Sure, well, I have to talk to you. I didn't know you had to hide in a closet to talk. Bill, she is playing games with me, man. I'm Liar. serious. Liar! Jen? Bill? David, why do you keep bothering my daughter? Mrs. Whitney, I, I just want to talk please, to her. Please, please, just... Just leave. Oh, Blanchard. Well, I... What's going on here, guys? Oh, it, it was nothing, Dad. It's okay, Daddy. I thought we weren't going to be seeing David Blanchard anymore. Yes, Daddy. You should be getting ready. You know Judge Carter will be there tonight. I'm almost ready now. <laughs> oh, Bill, wasn't that Milo outside? Uh, yeah, yeah, he was just going to take me to... You okay? I'm sure. So you want to tell me what's going on with Blanchard? I don't know. Jealous, I guess. He just wasn't the right sort for me. Could you zip me up, Billy? Something wrong? Uh, no. No, it's just uh, a little damp, is all. Well, I'm not taking another shower. Yeah. Look, I'm... I'm really sorry that I'm gonna miss your coming out. What a coincidence, the way things turn out, huh? Yeah. Come on, basketball's much more important than a stupid coming out party. Besides, I've already been dating three years. It's a joke. athletic ability to get the votes of the childish morons in this audience. Looks to me like you just lost the moron vote, Marty. All right. Hey, let's carry on with the debate. Right. Yeah. Candidate Whitney, you may respond concerning the proposed dress code. Yeah. Well. We should have a dress code, I, I guess. And I think we should follow it in the most possible strict we, po we possibly can. What I mean is if we could prove to the administration that a dress code really is a problem. I mean, just imagine everybody walking around in those idiotic clothes. Like Marty over here is wearing right now. And I mean everybody. It'd make them think that there was some kind of a, a conspiracy. news, man.
I nailed the guy who was a shoe in for the election. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see you're allowing yourself some success without sabotaging. Let me ask you then. How do you feel about your family now in light of all these recent victories? My family. Yeah. Um. Nothing. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't think about them. They don't think about me. We're just, we're just one big happy family. Except for a little, a little incest and psychosis. <laughs> Look, I know you're being facetious, but I think you really believe that. No. No, no, I, I don't. I, I don't. We're getting along much better now, really. Hey, let's not waste our time bullshitting. All right, all right. They don't approve of me, okay? They, they, they don't accept my friends. They don't... They don't talk to me like they do Jenny. Hell, they don't even look like me. Now, I told you that teenagers sometimes feel alienated from those closest to them. Alienated. I think I was adopted. <laughs> don't you think that sounds a little bit paranoid? No. No, I've never been paranoid. Just a little bit paranoid. Within normal ranges. You know, you really deserve what's going to happen to you, you know. What's going to happen? You're going to make a wonderful contribution to society. Jenny! Hey! I need some suntan lotion. Jenny! Jenny. Jenny. Listen, Jenny, I'm just gonna... I'm sorry, really. I just came in here to get this. Get out of here! Rocky, that's Bill sees the one with the... With the most incredible crop we've ever made. I know. The absolutely the fabulous. Oh. Rocky, you've done a terrific job. Bill. Oh. <laughs> future student body president of Beverly Hills Academy. Uh -huh. We're so excited about our party for Judge Carter next week. <laughs> well, um, I'm gonna go to the beach today. Oh. When will we be back, son? Well, that, de that depends if we go out Don't after. Don't be late, darling.
I love you, you know. <laughs> and if you really love me, you'll get us invited to Ted Ferguson's party. I can't believe we were left out. Look, he's over there. Come on, Billy, baby, couldn't you just go talk to him? Please? Don't get too hot. Boy, is this part of the beach stress code? Huh? You're not been out of shape. For all, I am the captain of the debating team. Hey, nothing you do to bend me. Just remember, Whitney, we don't lose. What are you gonna do? Rig the election or something? We don't have to. Martin, you was born to leave. So, uh, you know of anything that's going on this week? This week? <laughs> I can't think of anything. <laughs> well, if you do, let me know, huh? Yeah, hey, I'll send you a telegram. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let me know, huh? It's my pleasure. <laughs> Bill. Blanche, what's up? I've got something you gotta hear. You know what? You were out of line with my sister. Oh, God, no, look. I'm serious. This is very important. What are you talking about? Look, not here. Just come with me to the pier, okay? Please? I think what you'll find in paragraph 10 will excite you. Dad, something's wrong with one of my earrings. Oh, Jenny. Oh, hello, Judge Carter. How is our newest confirmed member of society this lovely afternoon? Oh, I'm fine. It's my earring that's not doing so well. I must say, young lady, you certainly added beauty to an altogether beautiful coming out party. Don't you agree, Jim? Pretty girl there, Your Honor. Please, be seated. Oh, it's right in the back by the clasp. Seems to be something caught in there. Top secret, eh, Blanchard? <laughs> Everybody in? Yes, sir. All right, girls, don't forget your seatbelts. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's my family. All right, now, Bill, I know you're going to be a little upset about this, but I put a voice-actuated tape recorder underneath your parents' car and a microphone in Jenny's ear. What? You bought my family? No, they bought my family? Just listen to the tape. Listen. I remember my own coming out. I was so excited. Then you can do it with women as well as men. Of course. Yes. Now, you know the schedule. First we dine, then copulation. With someone your own age first. Then with your mother and me. Then 
in comes the host. You'll be ready. Oh, you know, I could hardly keep a straight face when Bill apologized to me about not being able to make it tonight. <laughs> Don't be concerned about your brother, Jen. He's too busy with things in his own world to worry about our. You really lucked out, Jen. Ted Ferguson is really cute for our first partner. Ted Ferguson? Ted Ferguson? Yeah, Jenny and Ferguson. That's just the beginning. Here, listen. Wow, your boobs look totally sexy. Guys are gonna pop high ones the second they see you. I'm a little nervous, though. It's fine. Oh, relax, Jenny. Just go with it. It's so much fun to see how far you can stretch. Yeah, the hotter and wetter you get, the more you can do. It's great. <laughs> it's a microphone. Let me see. David Blanchard's been bothering my daughter recently. Following her around, things like that. He's a real electronics wizard. Is that so, Jim? Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Ted, you were wonderful. <laughs> no, don't okay, get too cocky, Ted. You know what I mean? Oh, oh, Ted. Oh, my God. Whoa. Is that him? Now, come on. Bullshit. You rigged it. What, you've been living with these people all your life and you don't know anything about this? Shut up! Give me this. No. Bill. Wait, come on. Don't do it. Come on. Here's your stupid recorder. I'll do it. Bill, wait! Dr. Clean, you gotta listen to this tape. Billy, is something happened at home? No, I'm not crazy. This is real. Uh, I, I can't believe it. Well, I, I can't right now, Billy, but I'd be glad no, to listen to no, it later. No, now. Please. Billy. Please. Please, trust me. I will call you just as soon as I listen to it, or I'll see you tomorrow. No, no it's okay, no. Billy. Give no. Me, give me the tank. No. You still don't trust me? Are you still afraid of me? Okay, it's up to you, Billy. If you want to bring it tomorrow, it's okay. I, I don't know why I'm afraid, but I... Doctor, it's, it's, it's very important. I understand. Listen to me. Listen, yesterday after you left the beach, I heard something. It involved my parents, my sister, and Ted Ferguson. He's not inviting us, is he? I knew it! Just listen to me for a minute here. And stop worrying about that stupid party. Oh, it may seem stupid to you, but I want to go. Is that all you think about? Parties and social status? If you're having problems, because you're so big-headed and selfish. No wonder no one ever invites us anywhere. I don't believe this. I'm trying to tell you something here, and all you're doing is giving me a bunch of shit. Oh. Oh, fine. Fine. That's just fine. If that's how you feel about me, well, I'm just glad that I know it now rather than later. I don't know, Billy. Maybe we should start seeing other people. Wait a minute, Shauna. Shauna! Shauna, wait! Oh, man. Hey, Bill. Oh, Milo. Hey, dude, I see you got... I'm very concerned about you, Billy. Did you listen to the tape? You're aware, aren't you, that what you're doing is illegal? Well, what about what they were doing? My father and sister and my mother together.
Everybody in? All in. Yes, Dad. All right, girls. Don't forget the seat belts. F fast forward a little bit. <sighs> I remember my own coming out. God, I was so excited. You mean I can dance with anyone I want? Of course. I, I don't understand. You know the schedule. First we dine, then introductions. Then you'll be presented. No. No, no. Oh, my God, it's so exciting. Don't worry, dear. We'll be there to help you. I felt really bad that Bill couldn't come. I hope he doesn't feel left out. We're very proud of your brother, Jen. It's just unfortunate that he couldn't be with us. Th that's not what I heard. And you have to learn to accept society's rules of privacy. If you don't follow the rules, Billy, bad things happen. Now, some people make the rules and some people follow the rules. It's a question of what you're born to. I really hate giving you drugs, Billy. What? I don't believe this. You can always trust me, Billy. You gotta believe me. Uh, I need another copy of the tape. No, it can't wait. Please, yeah. The corner of Roxbury and Wilshire, right. Okay, hurry, okay, hurry. Dead? This isn't a garage sale. Look, officer, he was a friend. Look, you can't just wander into the scene of an accident. Look, officer, something is definitely wrong Get the here. hell out of here. No, wait, you don't understand. Get the hell out of here. Something bad happened today. Oh, well, come on. Don't you want to open it? Go ahead. Read it. Mr. William Whitney, you're cordially invited to a party to be given at the residence of Theodore S. Ferguson. <gasps> wow. 
now? This evening, 15th of October at 8 p.m. Cordially, Ted the Tycoon Ferguson. Sounds like some bash, son. But be careful on the drinking and driving. Oh, that home is just beautiful. Maurice Arnaud did most of the interiors, and he says it's his best work to date. Ah. Um, you guys don't understand. I'm trying to tell you something. We know all about the, the automobile accident, son. It's terrible. Oh. Just terrible. Oh, my. It just... just awful. Wait a minute. I, I, I don't think you, you quite understand here. Dave is dead. Jenny. I know. I'm really going to miss him. That's it. You're really going to miss him. Look, I know the guy freaked out after you dumped him, but come on, still. Listen, I'd rather not talk about it, please. So, what are you going to wear? You mean to the funeral? No, you weirdo. To the Ferguson's party. All right, Ferguson. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on. <laughs> 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 Clarissa, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Clarissa Carlin. So where's Shauna? Well, I, uh, I didn't expect to see her here, if that's what you mean. That is who you go with, right? You know my mom's maiden name, too? Real or adopted? Bill! Bill, what happened with Blanchard? Milo. Ferguson invited you? <laughs> Come on, give me a break. Yeah, I'm not in the mood, all right? Whatever turns you on. At least I don't turn tricks to get my kicks. Um. That was totally uncalled for. Well, have you seen her mother? Ma wait, wait, listen, listen. What happened today with Blanchard? Hey, I asked you about Blanchard. You saw it. I can't you? deal with that right now, okay? I gotta go. <laughs> well, Billy. We need to talk. I guess you got my telegram. Sorry it was so much at the last minute. I want to talk to you about Blanchard and my sister Jenny. I thought they broke up. It wasn't really her type anyway. Don't be so intense. Just relax. Enjoy. I want to know what happened to Blanchard. And I want to know what you did to my sister for coming out. You know the schedule. First, we dined. Then I fucked your sister. And then everybody else got so turned on, they fucked her too. And as far as Big Old Breath Blanchard goes, I ran that low rent fool right into a pole. That's a pretty busy week, don't you think? You are stupid! Make waves with me, you're gonna drown. 
Wet dreams? You're crazy. You know what you just did? No. I don't know what I'm about to do. Don't bother. It's his party. Someday it's gonna be my party. You know, you're in danger of losing this button here. It's only held on by one thread. Oops. Told you. You're weird. <laughs> Wanna go get so? Better get out of these wet things. Mm, seems so fresh. Uh, are you sure no one's gonna come in? Jelly bean. Try to run now. What's the matter, Billy? You, uh, you were in a funny position. Uh oh, Billy, you're so sweet. I wonder when exactly you lost your virginity. <laughs> That's Bill's Jeep. It is. I can't believe he would do this to me. Oh, come on, Shauna. It's better you find out now rather than later, right? Wrong. God, what a bitch that Clarissa Carlin is. Can you imagine what's going on? All right, all right. How do you like your tea? Cream? Sugar? Or do you want me to pee in it? Class act, Clarissa. Oh, 
Oh, I'm so mad I could just scream. Who's that? I don't know. We better get out of here. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Clarissa. Clarissa. Home a little early tonight, don't you think so, Mother? Has that brain of yours finally gone completely numb? This is Carlin, Bill Whitney. <coughs> Come on, Mother, out! Lighten up, Billy boy. Drink your tea before you drool. So what's with her? She does things I don't like. I've never known anyone like you. It's about time you did, honey bunny. It's getting late. Shauna. So are you happy now? What do you mean? What a bitch that Clarissa Carlin is. You think that you can do anything right, you I'll want and get away with it. Calm down and let me explain. So, was she a good fuck? Because that's all you're really interested in, isn't it, Billy? No, look, Shauna. Let Um. Oh, Billy, how could you? Uh, look, I... <sighs> Shauna. This. Oh, God, Bill. Is, is that thing what I think it is? That's a really disgusting thing to bring into Mom and Dad's bedroom. Uh, I don't know what's going on here, but I don't appreciate it. Calm down, Bill. Some of us have to get to school on time. You know, you look really nice in a tie. Don't you think so, Jim? Yes. Yes, he does. Knock it off here! Why? Why, why, why are you guys doing this to me, huh? Don't be so paranoid. Wait. I'm not paranoid. Don't be like that. Come on, Bill. Now, calm down. You know you'll make such a great contribution to society. You'll, you'll do our whole family proud. Man, you guys disgust me. Bill, don't be disrespectful to your mother. My mother. God knows where my mother is. I won't tolerate this language from you, young man. Fuck you, butthead. Bill, how dare you use the F word to your father? Oh, gee, I I'm sorry, Mom. Prefer the word copulation? Huh? You stay away from me. Don't touch me. Do something with him. You don't have to do anything anymore because I'm moving out. You can't do that.
Blanchard. He looks really weird. Not like himself at all. I, th I think that's what they always look like. I had to do a lot of reconstructive stuff on him. Yeah. Yeah. Bill. Huh? It's imperative that I talk with you. It's about your parents. About him. About some of the things that have been happening here lately. Society. What, what, what do you mean, society? Not here. Meet me tonight at Franklin Canyon. About nine at the gate. Hey!
Tracy, what are you doing here? I live here. Y yeah, look, uh, I just saw Petra with this neck cut. Poor baby, I hope he didn't make a mess. Where's your phone, huh? This isn't the one. I don't think we need the lab to tell us there's no blood. But, officer, this isn't the car. They, they, they must have taken it. I, I don't know. They? What are you hopped up on? Look, I'm telling you, someone killed Martin Petri. Up against the car, kids. Look, this isn't the car, OK? It was a Volvo, not whatever this is. And there was a dead person in it. Is it really that boring, being rich? You can impress me, too? I guess you're just naturally fucked up. Next time I see you, it'll be a lot less pleasant. What now? You can go home with me. I'm not in the mood, all right? Hey, that's not what I meant. Jenny, do you have anything to tell me? What do you want me to say? Come on, I swear. I swear it, it'll be just between you and me. Just, just tell me the truth. About what? You know what. Bill, I'm really worried about you. Yeah, sure you are. All right, quiet down. Where's Petri? It's strange that Martin Petri isn't here. He's never late. He's won every attendance award. But he's not coming here. No, please. David and David Blanchard's death was no accident. David Blanchard tried, tried to tell me about the society that kills to keep its existence a secret. They killed Blanchard. Martin Petrie tried to tell me about this, about this society, but they got to him before I did. I saw Petrie last night in Franklin Canyon murdered. Martin Petrie is dead. Would someone like to tell me what's going on here? I had car trouble. <laughs> nice speech, Whitney! <laughs> Bill. Bill! Bill, we gotta talk. Leave me alone, my love. I fucked you up, man, and I'm sorry. I didn't think you'd take it this far. What do you mean? I mean, I was the one who put the, the shrunken head in your locker and, and the sex doll in your Jeep, but I didn't think you'd flip out. You! You! Patrick Ferguson. Who else was in on this, huh? Who else, asshole? Wait, just give me huh? a chance to explain. I'm trying to tell you, crazy son of a bitch, but you got your own answers as usual. I'm not in on anything. 
but I followed you to Franklin Canyon last night. I saw Petrie and Ferguson coming out of the woods. Petrie was wrapped in a blanket. Then, then some old station wagon showed up. Then an old Ford. The whole thing was weird. You, you, you saw it. I only followed you because of the way you were acting. Then, then, then it's not me. I mean, I'm not going crazy here. Right. Hey, why the dolls and stuff? I don't know. You just got me angry. You know, I'm your best friend when it suits you. I guess I do go a little overboard. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. Milo, I, uh, I don't know what kind of trouble this is going to be. I'm with you. Why doesn't it surprise me that you're all here like this? Thank God you're here. You nearly spoiled everything. Well, we've been worried sick about you. Yeah, well, look, I would really love to stay and shoot the ship, but uh, I got a big day tomorrow, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed. Now, wait. No, wait, wait a minute, Bill. We want to talk to you for a second. I, I don't think so. Wait, what are you, you doing? Man? Let go! Let go! Bill! What think you're doing? Bill! Bill! What? I'm sorry. You know how I hate to give you drugs. You can't do this to me. I have rights, okay? I'm almost 18. Thanks, Cleve. What room's he in? Whitney. I don't see anything here about a Whitney. I know he's here. He was just brought in. Well, just a minute. Yes. Well, you have to go to the morgue then. The morgue? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he isn't dead. He just got here. Well, I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You're not sorry. There's been a mistake. Now, please, we don't want to have to call security. He can't be.
Flash, what's up? I've got something you gotta hear. I'm sorry. You know how I hate to give you drugs. He just wasn't the right sort for me. You know the schedule. First we dine, then copulation. Summon your own age first. Dude, I fucked your sister. And everybody else got so turned on, they fucked her too. You know you'll make such a great contribution to society. Let's get this one out of here. Yes, Doctor. Easy, easy, easy. Oh. Hold this. Oh. Oh, disconnect that cord. Where, where do you want That's where I roll out the red carpet. Bill Whitney never disappoints, huh? <laughs> they said you were dead. Things are just the way they seem. Only more so, Milo. <laughs> what happened? What did they do to you? Nothing. I'm here, aren't I, huh? I won, Milo. I'm free. They couldn't handle Whitney the Wonder Boy. <laughs> Bullshit. It's a setup. Look, they even brought your sheep here. Come on, they just want me to be happy. <laughs> Bill, you're officially dead. <laughs> Come on, can't you see they're setting you up for something? Paranoid? I'm not paranoid. All my fears are real. Come on. <laughs> Jelly Bean. Hmm? Where's your mom? Where's she in on this, too? Why don't you come upstairs? I want to be a fan. Oh, oh, bad little girl. Is that right, huh? Bad little girl? Oh, huh? Come on, you want to get rough? Things aren't the way they seem, Billy. Oh, yeah? Why don't you stay here a while? Quit it. Doesn't work anymore. Don't go home, Billy. Don't go home. Are you kidding? They want me home. It's time to party hardy. Where are we going? What's the plan? Plan? You kidding?
Mom? Dad? was just wonderful. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Judge Carter. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my dear, my dear. Ah, oh, you were both Absolutely brilliant. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well done. Well done indeed. Effective. Efficient. Oh. <laughs> and to say the very least, entertaining. <laughs> <laughs> I do love the smell of the hunt and the taste of the shunt. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. What's going on? Oh, thank you. you see, Bill, it's like this. <laughs> There's no business like show business. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Bill, you never were one of us. <laughs> Who are you? You almost understand, don't you, Bill? You're a different race from us, a different species, a different class. You're not one of us. You have to be born in the society. Alien scum. <laughs> no. No, we're not from outer space or anything like that. We have been here as long as you have. It's a matter of good breeding, really. Alien scum!
done very well, Jim. I'm pleased to be able to contribute. Anything for society. You too, young man. You have a bright future ahead of you. We may have an internship for you this summer in Washington. Come on, Mrs. Carlin. You're going to be my date. Jenny's going to Radcliffe. She'll tour Europe first, of course. Okay. Oh, Nanny, Nanny, you are such a lucky woman. Jenny is a real beauty. She possesses such natural poise. <laughs> yes, Jim and I both derive a great deal of pleasure from her. Don't we, darling? Ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have a double header. <laughs> After the first shunting, we'll have that special treat we've been hearing so much about. A wonderful specimen in his prime. Nurtured by Jim and Nan in their very own home. <laughs> Your eye on Blanchard, Billy Boy, because you're next. Okay. 
piece of pizza that it is, are you? Don't worry. You get your share. We're all gonna get our share. What the fuck's going on? Didn't you know, Billy Boy? The rich have always sucked off low class shit like you. doing in there? Hey, this is a private party and private property. It's members only. We're invited. Oh, you're invited. Who's that? This is my mother. <laughs> I'm sure. Hair! Hair, Mrs. Merlin! Wait a minute! <laughs> Dalton, Billy, now's the time. <laughs> uh, 
Well, son, I guess you're right. <laughs> I am a butthead. Hey, hey, Bill. Rescue the young maiden, Billy? Right, something like that. <laughs> you and me, man to man. <laughs> well, well, a slave revolt. <laughs> You gotta save the girl that's so cute. <laughs> Billy, don't! You only make it worse! Shut up, Clarissa! Jim! Uh, Nan! Where the hell are you? from Beverly Hills, with lineage dating from Julius Caesar and Genghis Khan, the master of the hunt, the champion of the shunt, Ted the Tycoon Ferguson. And in this corner, from nowhere, Particular. Bill the Bastard Whitney. Gentlemen, begin. Begin. Is everybody ready? 
ready for the big son of the night? See the arm, Bill? You can get very familiar with it. Give me a best shot. All right, Billy. The game's over. Never get away with this. Don't count on it. Butthead. Come on, come on. Cleveland, it looks as though I may have an opening in Washington next summer. Know what I mean? Mm -hmm. 